intention to reopen this topic. Today, the finance minister announced his support for income splitting. Well, sort of. He was, he was less negative than his predecessor, and yet not quite as positive as the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. This scheme would cost nearly $5 billion Whoa. and not help upwards of 85% of oh, Canadian families man. whatsoever. Can the Minister tell us, will this costly Conservative scheme be in his next budget? Good question. The Honourable Minister of Finance. I am, uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm looking forward to the opportunity of introducing the Economic Action Plan 2015, but not today. As the Prime Minister said, income splitting was a good policy for Canadian seniors, and it will be a good policy for Canadian families. Once the budget is balanced, our government is committed to greater tax relief for Canadian families. Well, now we know that the pink cards come from the PMO. I wonder if there's another color of card in there that actually has the minister's own opinion written down on it. They're, they're, he's avoiding taking a clear position on a $5 billion scheme that the Conservatives have offered. Order. The member for Skinnabokley Valley still has the floor. Members need to come. Members need to come to order the Honourable Member for Skeena Bookley Valley. Everybody knows it's a career limiting move to disagree with this Prime Minister. We just want to know this Finance Minister's opinion. Yeah. Is he in favour of income splitting? Yes or no? Or is he just trying to split the difference? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Finance. Having received a pink Order. slip himself, <laughs> Order, the Honorable Minister of Finance has the floor. He had to pay $40,000 to ask Ouch. a question, uh, and apparently uh, the leader, uh, the new House leader, was being paid $40,000 not to ask me a question. As the Prime Minister said, as I told the Prime Minister, income splitting is good policy for Canadian seniors, and it will be a good policy for Canadian families. Honourable Member for Skeena Book yeah, Valley. The, co the cost of changing positions, $40,000. The cost of asking this Finance Minister questions, priceless. Yeah. I, uh, I got a report uh, from the notoriously uh, left-wing think tank, the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. Canada's labour market sputtered in 2013, it says. Third bullet point down. 95% of the net jobs created were in part-time positions. Is this the kind of economy Conservatives are so proud of? Is this what they expect Canadian families to live on? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, 85% of the positions created were full-time. 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 It's a fact. That's Our candy. government is focused on what matters most to Canadians, jobs and economic growth. Over one million net new jobs created since July 2009, over 85% full-time, over 80% in the private sector. The best job creation in the G7 by far. The Honourable Member for the Mouskinejet, the Mouskwatali Basque. Mr. Speaker, we're going to start with a simple question for the new Minister of Finance. Can he tell us which spending of Budget 2013 was lapsed and by which departments? <laughs> Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, as I said, the budget will be decided upon next year. It is not uh, the time to discuss the details of that budget now. As I said, our government's economic progress is the best in all G7 countries. The Honourable Member for the Muskinejet and Basque. 
Mr. Speaker. Uh, my question was on the lapsed funds from budget 2013, millions that went unspent in 2013. So when the minister makes promises for 2014, he shouldn't be surprised if no one trusts him. So let's go to another financial matter, Mr. Speaker. Under the Conservatives, Canadian household debt levels have exceeded those of the United States. The predecessor of this Minister of Finance did nothing to fix this situation. So what is this Minister's new plan? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Monsieur le, le, le Président. Mr. Speaker. Canadians understand the importance of living according to their means and they expect their government to do the same. So for that reason, we reduced the debt by 30, $38 billion before the recession and we brought it to its lowest level in 25 years. That gave Canada the flexibility necessary to respond to the worst recession since uh, the Great Depression. The Honourable Member for Louis Saint